Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to IB Plays Music. Today I'm going to show you what arpeggios are and how we can play them on piano, how we can find how to play these arpeggios. In the last couple of weeks I explained and showed you what major scales, minor scales are, what the key of a certain song is and how to find major and minor chords based on those scales as well. So today to find these arpeggios we're going to use the knowledge that we have learned last couple of weeks. Now what is an arpeggio? Basically that is a broken chord which means that the notes of the chord are played separately instead of together. So take for example the C major chord that we used two videos ago as an example which is this one. Okay, so basically if I want to make that an arpeggio, I just have to play all the notes separately. That's already an arpeggio. I can always go down as well. Or... This is an arpeggio of the C major chord. But at least we're going to play three notes. Uh, we can use more than that, but at least three. So this is the most basic that you can get. You have the chord and you just play them separately. Okay, we can do this with four different notes as well, but then we can just go and repeat the same thing. We have the three basic notes right here, the C, the E, and the G for this example. Uh, if you don't know how to find major or minor chords, those videos are in the description down below. You can check those out. But this is an arpeggio in the C major chord. If we want to widen that uh, range, then we can use the C above as well. Or we can play it at a different starting point as well. Or, or lower. Okay, and we can use more than four as well, but then it's hard to play it with one hand because then you have to really reach far to, to get that range. Uh, so I can use one of my uh, left hand fingers. And we can go very far in that. Or, or start lower. Okay, so we have different options when it comes to these arpeggios. You can make them as long and as, a, and as big as you want to. And, and this is of course the basic chord that we use, but you can use this with very uh, complex chords as well. You have all different kinds of arpeggios that you can use. For example, this is not a basic chord. And you can do pretty much every note if you want to. Every combination of notes that you make has some kind of name for a chord. That's also an arpeggio for this chord. But that's not a basic chord, all right? So I would advise guys to start off with all the basic major chords, minor chords, and try to play those notes separately um, and, and find the arpeggios that way, okay? So we've done right now the C major chord. We can easily change that to a C minor chord as well. Uh, so that's basically it guys. The effect that arpeggios can give in, in a song or when you play something is that it sounds very smooth and very legato. Um, and that, that's often where, where it's used. Uh, if we want to be harsh in a song we probably will use a full chord. If we want to make it smoother then we can play it arpeggios. So you know that that effect is going to be probably there when you play those arpeggios. It adds something more than just playing a chord, okay? That's it guys, I hope you learned something again today. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Also don't forget to check out my other tutorials. I have reaction videos and music videos for you guys to check out. So thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye. So today we're gonna work. So today, so today to find these arpeggios, we're gonna. Ex so we're go we're going to use the knowledge that we had. So if we.
So if we use an example C chord, uh, 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 as an so if you want to make that a, so basically if you want to make that an arpeggio, if we will, if we want to use four, and you're not really restricted uh, to uh, to the bass chord of those notes, you can you uh, every we can do okay. So you can it adds something more to uh, 